Hi guys, welcome to Travel with Austin. I'm Austin. Today I'm going to be showing you what a um, Ohio University Sweet Single Dorm looks like. Now, I did do a video like this last year, but I am going to um, do it again and actually show you the adjoining room to mine as well this time. Now, any Sweet Single in Car, Tanaka, Luke's, or Soul should pretty much all look like this. Um, your layout just might change depending on what side you're at and what part of the building you're in. So first, when you enter the room, you do have your dimmer switch, which you can use to dim the lights. Um, at the lowest setting, the light above basically the main room area won't be on, but you'll have one on by the door. Also, as you come in, you have the closet and cubby space. So here is your closet space. Um, you have a bar that hangs stuff up there. You have a little shelf. Um, you have another bar right here. Now there are some cubby holes up at the top up here. Um, I'm about 5'7", and I really couldn't use these because of where they are, but if you're taller, you may be able to use them better. Um, but for me, I could not. Now you have another little cubby right here. Um, it has some electrical outlets in it. And then you have your drawers that you can put clothes in. Now, coming into the room further, um, you have these things. I'm still not sure what they're for after two years of living here. Um, so if anyone knows, feel free to comment them below to help someone else out in the future. You do have um, in-room thermostat. Now, um, these are kind of good because you get control over it, but you can only set your temperature between 70 and 75, which is a bit disappointing. I remember when I lived in Adams Hall, I believe we could set it all the way down to 65. And when I lived in a hall with um, in-window air conditioning, we could just leave the air conditioning running if we wanted to, um, but we didn't have any control over the heat. Um, of course, you get the microwave mini fridge option. Mine's kind of messy right now because I'm still cleaning and moving out. Um, you do get some outlets. Um, you get this little Aruba internet device. Um, I'm actually not sure if there's anything you can use that for. It does have a USB port in it, but I think it's more for a maintenance thing. Um, and then, of course, you have your cable thing where you can attach cable to your TV if you want. You also get the desk and chair that every Ohio University room comes with. And you get your, um, I believe they're called Twin XL beds. Now, there's lots of outlets in these rooms. Um, like I said, there was one over there, one back there, one there. Uh, there's also one hidden behind my desk over here. And then we have four right here. Now these ones also have standard USB plugs, so you can plug in your iPhone charger or something. Although, honestly, your wall brick is probably going to be quicker. Now we do have the windows, and of course they are open, and... They're pretty large windows too and can let in a lot of light if you like that. Now, heading over to the bathroom, you will share a bathroom with the person next door to you. You have your towel hook on your door and you also have two towel hooks right next to the shower. Each side has its own outlets and light switch. Um, there is only one sink that the two of you have to share between. And you both get your own little cubbies where you can keep toilet paper or um, sanitary supplies or whatever you want. This is the shower. The only thing I will say, um, especially this year, I don't think I noticed it a lot last year, but this year we've had a lot of issues with the um, water heating to the point where the other day when I went to take a shower, I turned it on full blast and had to let it sit for five minutes before the water even got warm. So that could be resolved by the time you live here if you're watching this video. Um, but it might not be. I do not know. Now you also do have your own little individual shower light, which is just located right next to the shower. Now the floor in here does have a drain. So if you get water outside of the shower, which is almost certainly going to happen on accident at some point, it is fine. It will drain into the drain in here. 
Now in here you do have your toilet. Um, this is in a separate room that you can close and lock if you need to. And you do have a light in here. Now one thing I will say is the toilet paper holder is weirdly sized. Um, I think we tried a few different brands of toilet paper this year and we could not find one that fit on here perfectly. Um, eventually it always ends up kind of tilted like this and eventually just falling off. And of course you do have a mirror. Okay, so let's check out the adjoining room. You'll see this is pretty much a mirror to the room I am in. So on his entrance, you just had the stuff on the right side instead of the left. Um, for some reason, his room has a mirror up here. This is not included in every room. I imagine this was put in by some point and they just never took it down because it is like attached. Or maybe that is standard and for some reason I have the only room without one. And we can take a look at his fridge and microwave because they've already been cleaned out for the semester. And here's his sleeping area. Now because he was on the edge of the building, he actually gets two windows instead of just one. So if you really like natural sunlight, and you get the pick, you might want to choose one on the edge so that you can have two windows. Um, it can especially be helpful, um, for example, when the sun is going down um, and you don't want the glare in your room, the sun does set this way. So you can close the drapes over here and open them over here. Again, that is completely up to you. Um, other standard stuff you have are um, the fire alarms, Got a smoke detector right up there. Um, there's the actual fire alarm. You got vents up there. And really, that is all that I can show you. These are great rooms. Um, probably the best rooms at Ohio University. They are a little bit more expensive, of course. And a downside to this compared to a room where you would have a um, communal bathroom is you do have to supply your own toilet paper, your own hand soap and all that stuff. But really it is worth it just to have that privacy. So anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. And if you are staying in one of these dorms, um, congratulations and let me know how your experience is. I have lived in Car Hall for two years now um, and they're the best dorms I've lived in on campus. So anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I make new content every week. Thanks for watching.